So it's been a little while since I've kind of had to make a video like this. The last time that I made a video like this, we spoke about Thornton Smash and the supposed allegations and him being a supposed wife beater, according to everyone who had no clue what was going on and just ran with a false narrative. However, in this video, something absolutely massive happened. Two of some of the biggest leakers slash content creators in the Apex community just got heavily exposed. And here's the thing, these aren't just allegations. There are receipts for every single thing, every single claim, every single allegation that we're gonna speak about in this video. So I'm pretty sure we all know who Kral Rindo is. Kral Rindo was a data miner. He no longer does data mining. He's just really more of a Twitter apex content creator, if you will. But regardless, Kral Rindo is a very trustworthy source when it comes to information, talking about different topics. If something new is coming to the game and Kral Rindo posts about it, people are usually very, very quick to believe him because he's a very trustworthy source and he's never done anything to kind of fold his digital footprint. And everyone thought the same when it came to these other two leakers slash data miners slash content creators that we're gonna talk about, which is Hypermist and Oz. Now, as you guys know, I'm an editor for Thornton Smash, and every time I edit his videos, it is almost a guarantee that you're going to hear either one of these two names. Whenever I'm busy putting up references in the videos, and you listen to what he says, it's always him mentioning something that Oz put up or mentioning something that Hypermiss data mined slash leaked. And now the crazy thing about the internet is that you really never know who you're listening to, who you're watching. We all saw this with Water Got Him. Granted, Water Got Him just looked like a very shady kind of dude. You could tell something was off with him. If you guys have no idea who I'm talking about, then I highly suggest that you go and watch the video that I made on screen right here. But Water Got Him was yet again another faithful trusted content creator people watched his videos he was the biggest apex news channel at the time nobody had a very weird or skewed way of looking at water god and his content sure it was very monotone barely any effort barely any editing but hey everyone's got to get their bread right until it came to the day when everyone exposed water got him for cheating in apex ddosing servers hacking you freaking name it even him being a supposed pp if you know what i mean but recently i was just about to edit another one of thornton smash's videos when he messaged me on discord and asked me if i had seen what Kral rindo had posted obviously i didn't because the time zones are very very different for me and he immediately sent me a tweet to go and look at and when i saw what Kral rindo was talking about i couldn't believe it and he says if you're gonna follow an apex content creator you need to know who they are here is the truth about hypermist he is sexist towards women he is racist he uses the n-word in his discord server where he gets even more racist people in it he tells people to off themselves and he thinks he's allowed to use the r-word he also uses slurs against me multiple times even though i've never used any for him now here is the point where allegations turn into proof receipts because Kral Rento came in with the heat. As you can clearly see, there are Discord screenshots from Hypermist from his Discord about him saying absolutely everything that Kral Rindo was accusing him of in the tweet. As you can clearly see, he says, to be honest, I don't trust women as mods, not gonna lie. Over here, you can see him discriminating against Chinese people, calling them faggots. Where is your shame, brother? Where is it? What have Chinese people done to you, man? They've done, uh, what, what is it? Please, if anything, Chinese people make the best food, bro. I absolutely love Chinese food. I live with Chinese people. I love them very, very much. They are the most accommodating people I have ever met. And then in this screenshot, you can clearly see him saying, also, Kral is a f***ing f***it. No one in my group trusts him. And then he also uses the N-word. Right. I have no idea if Hypermist is black or not. I know that I am. I'm half Indian and I'm half black. If I had to say it, it wouldn't be that deep. However, we don't know what race Hypermist is. So at this point, it's pretty uh, bad, if you will. You can clearly see what he's saying on screen and he's just throwing the N-word around like it's free candy for kids. I'm already starting to see a very, very water got him trait going on with Hypermist. Dude is 
zooted off the ego as you can see in this screenshot right here he says i'm over it already don't even care just for future purposes if you were trying to get me cancelled over the word retard it wouldn't work on me because i've already done that publicly i don't know about you but I see and hear a lot of Water Gotham influence in that statement. But just when you thought that it couldn't get any worse, it quite literally gets a whole lot worse. Hypermist was even working with a bunch of cheaters because he wanted to know how to use injection tools. Krowrendo goes on in the thread to say he got multiple copyright strikes on his channel, he is about to lose it. He got hardware banned a couple months ago for using injection tools, and when he asked a dev about this, he got rejected. In that time, he was asking me and other data miners for help, then he started using cheat tools and ended up losing a lot of accounts. And he still makes a new account every single day. Once he started getting help from other cheaters, he started shit talking behind us because he didn't need our help anymore. This is what you get for helping people, I guess. And like I said, Hypermist is zooted off the ego horse, man. Well, that aged fantastically, absolutely glorious. Hypermist also thinks that this is all just gonna die down eventually if he just ignores all of it and doesn't say anything and just continues to post videos like nothing ever happened. And you know, funny enough, I actually went to Hypermist's comment section on YouTube on his most recent video and I typed there just to see what he would do. Damn bro, the Discord screenshots do not lie. That comment lasted for roughly about five hours until he deleted it along with many other comments that were criticizing him about the screenshots that Crowd Window exposed him for. Not only that, he's still continuing to delete comments. I don't understand if he doesn't care as much as he claims, why is he deleting comments? And I highly, highly doubt that he's going to come out and say anything. It most probably will be another Water Gotham situation where he's going to ignore absolutely every single accusation, receipt, screenshot, piece of proof and evidence against him until it gets really, 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 really bad. Deleting my comment on your recent video along with others after Acra Rendo point blank exposed you is crazy at Hypermist. Listen bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. I want all the smoke. That's crazy. Hypermist was one of the people who was calling Thornton a wife beater in his Discord chat. Well, the entire time Thornton was completely innocent. And Thornton's my friend. He's my homie, so I'm gonna stand up for him. But if you go even deeper down the rabbit hole, there is one more content creator or leaker or data miner that we need to speak about who is also very, very prominent in the Apex community, especially if you watch news videos. And that is Oz Veltador, otherwise just simply known as Oz. So in part two of Carl Rindo's entire thread of leaker lore, he spoke about Oz. And as you can see here, he says that Oz's behaviors are a lot more deep. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did not even for a single small second think that Oz was this kind of person. Krell says he's a thief, he stole other people's money and he scammed them. He's racist, even worse than Hypermist and still says that he isn't. He's heavily homophobic and shows deep hate towards trans people and others. And he's obsessed with the jokes related to R wording. So if we take a look at the very first screenshot that we have over here, this is from a website. I'm not sure which website it's from, but basically Oz is suspended from this website because they found that he was actually scamming people. As you can see, it says here, scammer do not trade. Trade agreement scam. First, this user scammed at least six different users in cash transactions, PayPal, Steam wallet about nine to 12 months ago. To get unbanned from the site, we require him to first pay the victim back. He added each victim back to negotiate but did not pay them back the amount initially discussed. They were just happy to get anything back and accepted. Frequently, less than 50% of the original trade agreement. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. Bruh, I'm not too sure what it is with everyone just using the n-word. Like even though I have the correct requirements to use the word, I didn't just go throwing it around like it's candy. You still need to have respect for it either way. But anyway, Oz is another one of those people. Then, of course, he just has a really strange addiction to talking about R-wording. Uh, 
what that um oh okay bro i i okay interesting very interesting in the screenshot here he says also i hate gay people what's funny about oz is that he's been banned from i cannot even count on my fingers how many apex community servers including shrug tall and Dorden Smash. By the way, this is also the exact same leaker that said that Lifeline was going to be pregnant with Octane's baby and then the baby was going to be Conduit coming. I, I uh, okay, bruv. I, I'm not sure how we got to that conclusion, but somehow he did. He managed to do it. It's very important that we all know exactly the kind of content creators that we're watching, that we're paying attention to, because the exact same thing has happened in the past and nobody has any clue about the type of people that they're watching watching and paying attention to. You only follow them for the news and for the leaks, which is perfectly okay. In fact, if people still continue to watch these people and pay attention to the things that they post, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, I understand that you're just watching him for the news and the leaks and quite literally for Apex, you do not care about anything that he does outside of content creation, which is completely fine. That is okay. But for the people who do care, these are the kinds of people that you're paying attention to on a daily basis. This is what is happening in the Apex community. Keep content creation, content creation, all right? And keep your personal life and your personal opinions out of it. It has nothing to do with it unless that is the niche of content that you make content for. But it's not. This is Apex, bruh. We make gaming videos. It's really not that deep. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next one. Much love, everyone. Peace. Bye-bye.